Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are. Lesson 32, construct a nine-point circle. This is the last lesson in topic F. Classwork opening exercise. During this unit, we have learned many constructions. Now that you have mastered these constructions, write a list of advice for someone who is about to learn the constructions you have learned for the first time. What did and did not help you? What tips did you wish you had at the beginning that would have made it easier along the way? So there's the opening exercise. I am not going to answer that question because I am not you. And that is a personal answer. That is an opinionated answer. Some people's answers will be different than others and may not be right or wrong. Okay, so here we go. Skipping that. Exploratory challenge one. Yesterday, we began the nine point circle construction. If you watch my video yesterday, what did we learn about the triangle that we start our, our construction with? Where did we stop in the construction? We continue our construction today. There are two constructions for finding the center of the nine point circle. With a partner, work through both constructions. So again, I'll leave that to you. And here we go. Construction one. All right, so I'll move this to here. Here's construction one. One. To find the center of the circle, draw inscribed triangle L, M, N. Okay, so here we're starting with a circle. So let me draw a circle. So here is a circle. All right, say I wanna find the center. It's somewhere in this region, but where exactly? Well, to find the center of the circle, we draw an inscribed triangle L, M, N. All right, so we need that triangle that this circle with the nine point circle was in. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back with our construction from the past video, yesterday's video, lesson 31. Okay, so here we go. Here is the triangle with the nine point circle. We wanna find the center of the circle. It says to find the center of the circle, draw inscribed triangle L, M, N. So you would have to do constructions to find the midpoint of AB, a construction to find the midpoint of BC, and a construction to find the midpoint of AC doing perpendicular bisectors. All right, so once we do that, we then take our ruler and go to the top and get it because that's where this program drops it every time. Okay, so here we go. Bring this over. I always like to put my ruler zero there because that's where it rotates from. All right, so there is L, M. And then if I rotate it again, I want to go to N, the midpoint. F is the altitude from Y. N is the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate this to N and draw segment LN. Now I have to move my compass to N, rotate it up to M, and draw NM. So there is step one, triangle LMN, which is inscribed. Inscribed means it's drawn inside where all three points are on, or all three vertices of the triangle are on the surface of the circle, but the triangle's inside the circle. Find the circumcenter of triangle L, M, N, and label it as U. Okay. So now what we need to do is construct perpendicular bisectors again using our compass. And we want to find the midpoints of all of these sides by doing a perpendicular bisector. Okay. Let me put my pen down, use my mouse. Maybe that'll help. All right, open it up. Go more than halfway. Do you remember your construction? and draw an arc 
or a semicircle, if you will, bring this point over to this end and do the same from this way, like so. And now I'm going to take my ruler and draw. Now I only care where these intersect. So I'm not cluttering this up. I'm going to draw my segment just from here and until I get to the other side of the triangle. So I only care about where all these perpendicular bisectors intersect and that'll be the circumcenter. Okay, so there is my first one. And then I'll change colors to blue and I'll do the same with NM now. So I'll put my compass on N, close it up a little bit, rotate it around. I'm more than halfway, so I construct an arc. Leaving my compass at that same radius setting, if you will, come to the other end, rotate like so until I cross the arc twice. Then I take my ruler, rotate it, put my zero on one intersection. You don't have to do this with your comp with your uh, ruler. You just have to line up the ruler, but this is an electronic ruler. So, and there it is, but I'm gonna continue till I get to outside the triangle on both ends. So that I'm going fully through the triangle. So here's where two of them meet. We wanna make sure we did it correctly. We could probably stop there if we know that we did it correctly because where those two meet, the third one has to meet. So I set my compass here, rotate it, open it more than halfway, draw an arc, move it to N, draw an arc. Okay, I did not go far enough on that first arc, so I've got to put it back. Rotate it around. Make sure I'm using the same radius as I did last time, which is about right there. Okay, see I'm on that arc right there. I need to continue that so it intersects my other arc. There we go. So I'm color coding this to hopefully, it's looking pretty messy, but if you can focus on one color at a time, it makes it easier. So now I'm just looking at purple. So I put my zero at this arc intersection and I rotate it so it's at the other arc intersection and I draw my segment. Okay, so I'm off a little bit, but it's pretty close. But if I put a dot right where those three points meet, hello, I changed it black, right where those three points meet right here, okay, that is the center of the circle and we're going to label it as you. But before I do that, let me get rid of all of these messy arcs. And perpendicular bisectors. Control Z is my favorite command. Okay, as you can see. Okay, so there's the center of my circle. It's kind of a messy dot, but that's okay. And label it you. So done. So there it is. We found the center of the circle when we only had the nine point circle and the triangle that it came from. All we had to do is draw the inscribed triangle, find all of the perpendicular bisector or the midpoints of every side and where they meet was the circumcenter. So recall that the circumcenter of a triangle is the center of the circle that circumscribes the triangle, which in this case is the nine point circle. So you call the thing that's on the outside circumscribed and you call what's inside inscribed. Okay, so moving along. Okay, so now we have construction two. Let me move this. Let me make this all one piece. Okay, I made that all one piece now so we can work with it again. <clears throat> okay. Construct the circle that circumscribes, circumscribes triangle ABC. So remember, 
If it's circumscribed, it's outside. So I want to draw a circle that has point A, point B, and point C on the surface of the circle. So can you picture a circle? Let me just do it this way. I'm going to cheat just to show you what they're talking about. And it would be a circle like so, but then you would have to move it around until you found where it intersected all three points. So that would have to do this. Of course, you can only do this with a program. You couldn't do this on paper. But as you can see, there is a circle that will go through A, B, and C. So the triangle is entirely inside the circle with the vertices touching the edge. So that's our goal. We have to make this circle, okay? Obviously, we can't do that on a piece of paper when we don't have a program in paper. Construct the circle that circumscribes triangle A, B, C. Okay. Okay, so to find the, to draw a circumscribed circle, we only need two points. Once we already have a triangle. Okay, so we're just going to find the midpoint of two sides and where they intersect is the center of the circle. So I'm going to change to purple. I'm gonna put my compass at AC. We'll find the center of AC. So you put your compass point on A, you move your compass to a point that you know is beyond the midpoint of AC and you draw an arc like so. Bring the compass over to C with the same radius setting Trying to be as accurate as possible. And draw an arc. So I'm not cluttering this all up. Here, let me do a different type of line so I can leave it. So I'm going to put my compass or my ruler here. So I'm lined up with the intersection of, and I'm going to draw a segment, but I'm going to make it dashed. And it's right there. Okay, so this is the midpoint of AC because that's a perpendicular bisector. Now I'm going to do the same. Let me change to orange, haven't used that yet. And let's find the midpoint of BC. So I've Actually, I should have left my compass. Actually, I had moved it, so let me put it back. Put my compass on C. Okay. That's not bad. Move it so it's more than halfway on CB. So obviously halfway somewhere around here, so I'm open far enough. And draw an arc. I didn't switch back to solid, draw an arc. Move this to B. Like so, come on, right there and draw an arc. Bring my ruler over, put zero right on that intersection of the two arcs, and it's right about there. And switch back to a dashed line, and it is right as you can see there. Okay, those two points intersect right here. That is the center of my circle. So it says construct the circumscribed circle of ABC, find the circumcenter of triangle ABC, which is right here. That circumscribes ABC triangle and let label it CC. So that is point CC, that is right here. It says draw the segment. Okay, I haven't drawn a circle yet. So let me put my compass right on what we found as the center right there. 
I'm going to rotate it so I'm at one of the vertices, it doesn't matter which one. And as you can see, if I open it to C like this and draw a circle, it'll go through A and B. Okay, again, the program's off just a little bit. It's hard to do this exact. If I open it up a little more, that's closer. So let me get rid of the circle that was too small. Wrong one. Okay, let me just, maybe I'll just have to leave it. There we go. Okay, so there's the point B on the circle. Point A is pretty close to on the circle and C is pretty close to on the circle. But again, with the program, I may have just have been off a little bit with my compass. So let me get rid of all these constructions, but I'll leave the dashed lines. Okay, so there we have it. There's the circle. So constructing a circle is done. Finding the circumcenter is done. That's CC. Draw the segment that joins CC to H. Okay, so now I will just use the orange color and I'll make it solid. And I'll just follow this segment from CC to H. So that is this segment right there. Okay. And get this out of the way. Okay, I made a mistake there. That's not H, that's M. So I kind of took a time out there to, I knew what was, something was wrong. So where is H? It says draw the segment that joins the point H, the orthocenter from the construction of the nine point circle in lesson 31. Okay, so it's not in this. So I have to find the ortho center from lesson 31 and I'll put, I'll just put it in there so we don't have to do it again. Actually, I don't think there's a way I can do that. So how about I just do the ortho center again and that would be a line from A down to CB that is perpendicular to CB a line from B to AC that's perpendicular to AC and a line from C to AB that's perpendicular to AB. So three altitudes form the orthocenter H. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put my compass on A. I'm sure let me put it on B. I'll find the altitude of B to AC. So it has to be perpendicular to AC and in order to do that, we rotate our compass, open it far enough so that it intersects at two locations. So there's going to be an arc here, crossing there. And let me just not draw any until I get over to here and then draw there. Okay, so then I close my compass up a little bit, put my point on the intersection of AC and that arc, which is right here and draw an arc. Don't change your setting on your compass, put it at the intersection over here and draw an arc. So there's the arc. So now when I put my ruler at that point, going through B, that will be the altitude. So I'll just start it here and go up. So there's the altitude. I won't extend it beyond, I don't need to. That is perpendicular to AC and it's going through B. So there is one altitude. I need to do this two more times, but I'm only gonna do it one more time because they all should end up at the same location. So now I'm going to find the, um, I'll use C as my point and I'll find the altitude from C down to AB. So I put my compass on C rotate it around and try that again. Open this up so that I'm going to cross over here. Oops, I don't wanna change that, I wanna move over here. 
And then over here, see, it doesn't hit. So that's going to be a difficult one to draw. So I, because the compass is open so far. So I'm going to instead do the one from A that would go down perpendicular to BC. So I move my compass around like so, and recenter it. It was off a little right there. Open it up so that it crosses at two locations on CB. Okay, so I can't open it further than B. That's too short. So sometimes it's difficult with a triangle that's given. That's too far, see that? It's not gonna hit twice. So I've gotta find the happy medium and I go there and I go there. So that one was pretty tough to do. So now I move my compass over and it looked like it intersected right here. Rotate my compass and I'm just going to draw a small arc out here and then move my point of my compass to this intersection point, which looks like it's about here and draw the same arc there. And where those two arcs intersect will be my altitude from A down to CB. So let me put my compass, my ruler, I should say here and there and draw the altitude from A down to the triangle. So that's perpendicular as well. So this point right here is the orthocenter because if I did another altitude from C that was perpendicular down here, it would go through this point and it'd end up somewhere over here. Okay, so there's my orthocenter. So that is point H. So that's where I went wrong thinking that H was M or M was H. So this is H. So now it says to draw segment CC to H. So I'll put my ruler on CC, rotate it. So I'm going to H and oh, I don't know. Let's make this neon green or green. And there is my line segment CC H in green. Find the midpoint of that segment in step three and label it U. Okay, well, guess what? That is going to be the midpoint. So what just happened? The circle that we drew from the nine point, we drew a, an inscribed triangle. We found the two altitudes to find its ortho center, which is CC which is actually the center of the circumscribed circle outside here. And then when we drew altitudes of the big triangle that, are in, that was inscribed in our big circle and connected those two points, the midpoint of that segment from ortho center to ortho center was the center of the nine point circle. Okay. So they're all related. And that was it on this page. Page two, describe the relationship between the midpoint you found in step four of the second construction and the point U in the first construction. All right, let me go back. Okay, I kind of cut a corner here. I didn't do the construction to confirm U was the midpoint of HCC. But in order to do that, I would have taken my compass, put the point on CC, opened it up to H. So I make a circle of radius CCH that length and put an arc over here and an arc over here. Flip the uh, compass around and put the point on H and the pencil on CC and do another arc and then connect those two. And it would, got, would have gone through U and proved that U is the midpoint of HCC. And now let's answer this question here. And it says to describe the relationship between the midpoint you found in step four of the second construction and the point U in the first. And the answer is, whoops. The answer is the center U is the midpoint of the segment from the ortho center H to CC. Okay, so exploratory challenge two says to construct a square ABCD. So 
So I'll stop right there. Let me underline that. That's our objective here. That's our goal. Our first goal is to make a square. So the first thing we want to do when we make a square is simply draw a line. So I need a uh, compass and I need a ruler. Bring the, oops. Bring the compass down here, bring the ruler down here and come back out. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line segment with my ruler. Doesn't matter how long it is, I'm just drawing a segment. I now want to draw a perpendicular line to that. So I am going to pick a point on the circle or on the line and put my compass here. Open the compass up and draw an arc. A little more than a half circle. Then I bring my compass over and put it at that intersection point and draw another semicircle with the same radius as the first. In other words, don't change your compass setting and go around like so. Okay. So then I take my ruler and I bring it over. And this is off just a little bit, but not much. And I would draw a line through those two points, like so. As I said, the program's off a little bit. I might not have had my compass right where it has to be because it moves every time I lift my pen. Okay, so anywho, there's a perpendicular line to the original line. Now what I do is take my compass and put it on a point on the line, open it wider than what I just drew. Actually, I'll put it at the center, my fault. Put it at the center here. Come on. All right, right there. Let me change to red. And I will draw a circle around like so. So there is a circle. And as you can see, my original line was not long enough. So let me extend that. Okay. So now, as you can see, I have a circle and this one wasn't extended long enough. Now I have four points on my circle and that will be the vertices of my square. So if I put this here, draw a segment from here to here. I'll do over here first because my ruler's already set. Okay, again, my circle's off because this, since I slid my ruler, it should be parallel. And then if I bring this up to here and draw a line to there and then do the same over here. Okay, so there is my square. So let's recap. You draw a horizontal line, you put your compass on it, you drew a arc that is more than 180 degrees, okay, a little more in the semicircle. Move the arc over to the other side and do the same from this point here and the intersection form this perpendicular. Just make sure you draw them longer than I did. And then when you put your compass at the center, draw a circle that is greater than your intersection of your arcs and draw a circle and then connect all those and you have a square. So let me get rid of the construction now. Get rid of this circle and all of these arcs. Okay, and then if I get rid of 
all these lines. Clean this corner a little bit. There is my square. It says to label it A, B, C, D. So I will call this A, B, C, and D. Okay, pick a point E between B and C. So, and draw a segment from point A to E. So this is easy, you just put a dot here, call it E, get your ruler, and draw a segment AE. Okay, so that's this. The segment forms a right triangle and a trapezoid out of the square. Construct a nine point circle using the right triangle. So here is my right triangle. All right. To construct a nine point circle, do you remember what we needed to use to make a nine point circle? We did all the sides, midpoints. Okay, so perpendicular bisectors of every segment. So this is gonna be time consuming. Um, so I'm gonna put A, here. Actually, I can't do that till I rotate it. My root compass was off screen. So I'm going to put my compass point at A. All right, make sure I'm open farther than halfway and draw an arc. Bring my compass to point E. And this was the construction that I skipped on the last page, by the way, to prove that U was the midpoint of CCH segment. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this around and draw my arc. Now I am going to bring my ruler over and I'm going to draw a segment. from intersection to intersection, like so. So there's my first perpendicular bisector. So that's the midpoint of AE. So there's one of my points for my nine point circle right there. I'm gonna erase my constructions as I go so it's not cluttered. I'm now going to do the same for the other two sides. So put B, or I'm sorry, perpendicular bisector, yes. Let's do BE now. Put that there. Rotate so you're more than halfway. Draw an arc. Move this to E and draw an arc. Bring my compass over or my ruler. Rotate it so we're going through both intersections and draw, no matter what color I use, I guess, draw a segment like so. Get this out of the way. Now I have another point right here. There's point number two out of nine for my nine point circle. Delete my construction so it's not cluttered Okay, so there's two, and now I have to do the same for side AB. So I'll start on B, rotate, open it more than halfway, draw an arc like so, switch it over to A, come on, right there, draw an arc. Bring my comp ruler over to zero, rotate it, and draw. Okay, this point right here is the perpendicular bisector of AB. 
right there. So now I'm going to erase my constructions. Get rid of this circle, get rid of this semicircle, get rid of this line. Now I have three points for my nine point circle. All right, so now let's construct the altitudes. Okay, so we put our point on A. One of the downfalls of this pro program, got to have that green dot on the screen or I can't rotate. Okay, right there, rotate it around. I don't know if I can do it with this compass. I can't, I made my square too big. Okay, so I can't do that extension from A to B. So I will do the altitude um, from B. Again, I can't rotate if I'm off screen. So I put my compass point on B. Rotate this around. I need this to intersect at two locations. So I'm not gonna draw yet. I'm just gonna check. It'll hit there. It will not hit over here. I need to close it. So let me bring it over here. I need to close it so I'm hitting before I get to past the end. So that's not gonna happen there. Okay, the only way I can do this because it's such a small triangle is it's going to hit or intersect right here and right at E. So then I put my compass at that point, draw an arc, put my compass at E, draw an arc, and my altitude will go from B through that arc intersection. Okay, so there's my altitude. There's the point where it hits and I'll get rid of all my other constructions. So there's that point. All right, so I'm not going to be able to do this, but you follow those steps to get the ortho um, or the altitudes of the other two sides by doing that process. I'm going to just do it with my ruler. It's kind of cheating, but I can do it with this program because I can kind of see perpendicular with the ruler. So if I rotate this around, I'm looking for a line that will go through A that is perpendicular to BE. And I'm just using the marks on the ruler that make it appear to be <clears throat> set up perpendicular. That looks about right there. Again, you need to use your compass to do this. And it's going to be right there, very close to the edge. So there's my third point or fourth point, fifth point. All right. And then I'm going to do the same for the altitude from E. Well, that is going to be the corner B because this is a right triangle. So the altitude is this leg. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six points. All right. Okay, so now that I found the midpoint of all the sides, that creates a triangle. So I am now going to draw the triangle that's going to be inside the other triangle formed by the three midpoints. So I'm going to put my compass on this point here. Rotate it so I'm at this point here, and I'll make this purple. 
I'll draw a segment from there to there. I'm then going to rotate my ruler and go to the midpoint of the other side. And this is my triangle. Here. It probably would have been an easier construction if I made E closer to C so that A went way over here and it would have been a larger right triangle. But now you see that I have another triangle inside this right triangle. And now if I find the midpoints of those three, those will be my other three points for my circle. So now I'm going to do the construction for that. Let me switch to orange now. And I put my compass at the end of this point here. Close it so it's more than half, but less than all the way. Draw an arc. Bring this over here, repeat, and bring my ruler over. Alrighty, and I'm going to draw a segment from there to there. And the point it ended up is going to be one of my points on my nine point circle, the midpoint of the inscribed tri triangle. So it's right there. Erase those constructions so it's not messy. Delete, delete, delete. So there's one. Do the same for the next one. So I'm going to go to B, E, the midpoint of B, E. Open this up further than halfway and draw an arc. Bring it over to this point here and do the same. Bring my ruler over. Actually, I did want orange, but it doesn't matter. And draw. So there it is, and it intersected here. Don't confuse the two where that line segment's going. We just found the midpoint of this side, which is right here. Okay, and then finally, let's erase all that. And I'm going to find the midpoint or the, yeah, the perpendicular bisector or midpoint of this side. Bring my compass to here. It's open further than halfway, so I'm going to do my arc. Move it over to E and do the same. Draw an arc. Bring my ruler over. And where it crosses, is my point right here. These are not going to be on the circle, but we're going to use them to find the points. Okay, so now I have the midpoint of all three sides of that purple triangle. Okay, so I brought in a circle in the compass here because I came to the conclusion that if you're going to do this with a right triangle, the altitude of this side, BE, is BE because, so let me show you. If I drew a segment, let's make it, I don't know. What have I not used for a color? Green, I guess. So if I drew an altitude, an altitude is by definition perpendicular to the side that it came from. Okay, so in a right triangle, the leg is the altitude. But then when I drew an altitude that was perpendicular to AE going to B, it's here. Okay, so that forms a right angle here. That's perpendicular here. So then if I do the same from A, a perpendicular would have, would have been somewhere around here. 
Now, when we make a nine point circle, we use that intersection point of the three altitudes, but with a right triangle, they don't share the same point. So we're at a, we have a problem with there. So I'm just going to show you that using these six points that we've created so far, the point that is really close to the midpoint of this side of the triangle is actually the ortho center or the center of that circle. So if, as you can see, if I put my compass near that point right there, if I go around like that, that's pretty close to being the circle that they're asking for, the nine point circle. It went through one, two, three, four, five, six points. So it went through the altitudes that I created along with the perpendicular or the uh, midpoints of triangle ABE. Okay, so that is the end of lesson 32. Not my best performance here. Maybe sometime I'll come back and revisit this, but um, choosing better triangles and such. But um, it was a very time consuming video to create. So at this point, I'm just gonna continue with the curriculum, maybe someday get back to this lesson and redo it. So go do your problem set.